Playstone. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So, it seems we have to go this way. First, let me jump off. Why is it that uh all these places we always have to go to? They're kind of far from like the fast shoving points. It's a little annoying sometimes, but it is what it is. Let me call my trusty mount as soon as I get onto this land. Oh no, Let's wrong see one. You, old friend. Whoops, wrong one, wrong one. Come here, Mercy. There you go, here we go. Oh man, oh man. Let's see how much I could get done today. Yes. Damn. Oh, a bear. Oh no, it's ready to strike. But can it swim though? If it starts <laughs> if it starts swimming right after us, man, is that gonna be a scary encounter? Damn. Oops, didn't mean to stop running. Come on, horsey. Gotta gallop faster. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Alright. What the hell? What is going on? <laughs> I keep encountering like random little glitches and like sudden like appearances. Alright, I'm gonna just get off my horse. We're almost there. There's no need for me to like take the horse. This is where it starts acting all stupid. Ah, we are back here, eh? Okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where are we? Abel, welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're quite a wealthy man, then. It's more of a lake, I'd say. You say you had something to show me. Oh, true, true, true. He did say that. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. Hey, that's a beautiful weapon. I feel like he's trying to buy me. This has the feeling of a bribe, of God. Are you trying to win my favor for some reason? Bribe you? Heavens no. This is a simple gift of thanks. For solving the mystery of Hunbiart's disappearance. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. But what's the point of this all? To I'm... be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it. If only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh... Or? I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Unwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Damn. That guy looks cool with his sword. I want to walk like that too. My old friend 
and Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? Well, I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Huh, what to say? I'm Norse, actually. Something you might learn by asking. Well met, Grim. Glad to have you along. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Why do I have a bad feeling about There's this? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. I'll take lead because I'm more than capable. Hey, 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 what the hell do you think you're doing? Is this my quest or your quest, huh? All right, fine. But don't come crying back with your tail between your legs when you find the damn bear. Can't even see. How am I supposed to find a damn bear? Well, hold on. Can I climb up? I mean, I know I probably sh I know I probably shouldn't do this because it's in the cave. But doesn't hurt to try, you know. Hold on, let me get this over here. Damn iron. Okay. Hey. I need more of that if I want to like level up my weapons. I kind of start collecting this because it's annoying, but then I realize I cannot level up my weapons at all. And that is a problem, my friends. A huge, huge problem. Can I go through this waterfall? Does this lead me somewhere? No, it does not. I was hoping it would. But I shouldn't let the search stop there. All right, now where the hell did I come from? Okay, let me go back in here. Clearly, that was in the way. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wolves. And not a bear in sight. Whoa, this whoops. All right, but where's Grim? Oh, God, you're still fighting now. Attack! Hey, hey, let's go. Ah, you killed Kenny. Alright. Oh, this one chipped me out. Man, if only I could have my own wolf. That'd be so cool. Be like, come on, buddy. Let's go on a hunt. <laughs> Alright. Now, what shall I do? On guard. Eivor, there's something you'll want to see here. What's up? That, that smoke! Oh my god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! See, here's the thing. I feel like this is, like, set up by him. Like, to make it seem like he's a victim, but in reality, he just, like, self sabotage himself and used us as, like, alibis. My people are fleeing! They must get to safety! Someone waited until you were away to set your world aflame. I'll send them straight to hell! I must be careful now. 
I am very skeptical about these kind of things, so that's my guess. Food's no good if there's nowhere to eat it. The house is burn, Eivor. Burn this damn lover down! I don't have to do anything if they're burning. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll start fighting them. If they're not on fire. How dare you? What? How is that even my fault? I'll have your guts out. Always. Can I roll out? There you go. You must pay. Ah, oh, come on. How is he not dead? I'm out of arrows. That was so dumb. I got you, my boy. Don't even check, Grim. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Oh, wow, he wasn't kidding about the bear. Maybe he's not a liar. Away, beast! Away! Don't have to any longer! Elfga! Careful! Sorry, buddy. You have no faults in this, but a promise is a promise. There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Damn. All right. Well, now that this problem is cleared, I guess uh, time to head back to Acha. I wonder what she's up to. I feel like I'm gonna end up doing like a lot of little like side quests for them, so eventually we pass enough time for like the actual Shire moot. I believe that's what they call it. The meeting that they hold to see who's gonna be the next. What is it? Uh, damn, what's that word? I keep seeing it too. It's just weird how they spell it. Yeah. And Endo, Elderman, I believe. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just curious how I'm still gonna do it though, because my biggest concern is leveling up. <laughs> like, I don't wanna do all the grinding on the side, but if I have to, man, I guess I'm gonna have to, but I'm like dreading it already, just thinking about it. To at least reach 200, just to be able to do every single other region that's on hold at the moment. I mean, I think right now we are like, what, 150 at the most? So. I'm hoping that by doing all these missions over here, I'll just level up enough to like get me by. It's not that much of a huge challenge to be honest. Like I thought it was gonna be one of those where like one hit will kill you, but it's not. The only problem is that uh, I can't kill him as fast. Acha, Acha, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, I guess I'm ready. You guys ready? All right, cool. Let's go. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. Huh. That is very interesting. How do you cancel my vote? 
It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think Hunwald is capable of being a leader. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Interesting. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Wow, that didn't help. <coughs> oh, shoot. Good evening, Elfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Elfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. I don't know. He's a little shady sometimes. I mean, there was a bear. I almost, I almost discredited him. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. A vote for Hunwald will return huh. the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Okay. Right, that doesn't help either. Let me talk to this old man over here. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouched for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. <sighs> Alright, the last one. I believe it's... Wait, hold on. I thought that Asha, Acha was... Oh, she's not. I thought Acha was actually part of this. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Hmm. Oh crap, now why am I stuck? Okay, so I'm assuming if I go up there, I'm already gonna make my vote. So who the hell should I choose? Let's see. Thinking about it. I feel like the bishop is kind of useless just because, like, he's not much of a fighter. What is he gonna do to try to, like, bring peace whenever someone comes to confront them? I don't know if this guy over here is also, like, am I tripping? Is there four or, like, three of them? Because it's between either this guy or Hanwold. I wouldn't mind 
this guy, since he at least is able to like lead. But I'm trying to process it. Okay, look. So this guy, I know he's a fighter, and he has that guy. Even though he's supporting the bishop, which the bishop I feel like he is useless. And then Hanwu, he is the son and he has the right to be like a, an elder man. But seeing how he was with his other half, that other dang lady of his, his love of his life, like, I think he's better off being with her and honestly not leading this. So I think I know who to go for. But I don't know if it'll make a difference. Like, I wonder who's gonna like. Three men, three possible futures. Ah, so it was three. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hanwald Herifrith. He's out. For sure he's out. I, I just don't think he's capable. Actually, both of these. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with this guy. They're both useless. Aside from... Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Ah. Uh, uh, see, now I'm back at... Ah, whatever. I have faith in him. I choose Alfgar. He's sturdy and competent. And his wealth will be a boon. The boar. Oh man, who's gonna try to kill me? It is decided. By the grace of God, the new elderman is Lord Alvgar of Lincoln. Ah, uh, they look upset, but my bad. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your ailderman, I will work to better this shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our king. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremuth's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Teowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Teowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Holy crap. Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Oh my god. Steal yourself, Ubal. It was an order. Oh. Mother of God. To think that I could have voted for him. What shenanigans is this? I've been set up. Damn, you guys. You made the right choice. I thought they were going to just try to kill, like, Unwold or something. But not everyone. Damn. Oh my god. Hold on, oh my god. Ah, oh, come on. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to, like, kill these guys without actually, like, getting in trouble either. 
Apparently killing civilians that are standing here is gonna be the death of me. Should I use my other ability? Ah, why not? Poison him. gonna die from the poison if not by my blade or should I say my axe what's his end game damn the massacre your troubles begin early elf god we'll find and kill that man to think such carnage could happen in Lincoln the grief tusser can't have gone far. Race feared and march against what men he has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. Man, oh man. I wasn't expecting such a turnaround. That's insane. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods... Protect you. Venite adoremus et ad talata merum, eritis et fidem, dus et vos in terram et promissa, in tua erit anima domina. Fessis tundus nostra sapiens dubus, vide collecta supra in terra atheres, et locustus est ad eo et prasci. Can I get out? What the hell? Why is it locked? I guess they're barricaded for their safety. That's my guess. But either way, you guys, that, that's insane. I'm, I'm a little mind blown, not gonna lie. I'm so glad I didn't choose Bishop. That would've been so bad. Who knows what he would've done? Killed everyone and I would've been on my own. And then have to fend off against everyone. But it is what it is, right? So yeah, you guys, uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't. For more gonna be content. And as always, catch you guys on the next episode.